Absolutely. So um, the truth is that negative emissions will be part of our reality going forward. And I think even this COP really reinforced that message uh, more over and over again. And I think what we do see is that there's a bit of a hindrance to actually engage with negative emissions externally because it's very unclear um, what the right technologies are, where quality stands, what to pay and how to actually procure the right um, credits. So Caesar works with a huge amount of data. We have over 2 million data points that we collect on the global market and update regularly and help companies to really plan and um, procure, manage and um, even report on their portfolios not only for now but even for the next years. So looking at a negative emission or that zero path for let's say 2030, um, we really help companies to find the right strategy and the right supply um, to get it done. Yeah, so I think we're still in a world where actually, um, you know, supply is a bit of a question mark, right? And if you want to go net zero long term, you will need those suppliers and you will need these kind of project owners and developers that suck CO2 out of the atmosphere, that generate carbon removal globally at scale. Um, and we're still in a in a way, um, you know, waiting for this to scale up in the right way. And um, for us, these partnerships are really crucial, right? So we work really early with those kind of players. We engage with technologies that are very, very early and try to get the proof points in place to help them scale. Because the capital markets that need to finance the scale up of those technologies and the infrastructure around it are all looking and waiting actually for the right demand points for them to have the confidence to, to deploy large scale capital. It's not only going to be trust, it's also going to be some revenue and some real financial data. Um, and this is where we also see our role in that sense is to partner early on, help them get the demand points in place um, and help corporate understand what are the right technologies to invest in and to partner with early to help get to net zero on the long term. So I think that if you look at climate change as a challenge, it's probably the biggest one that we currently face, I think among a few others potentially, but certainly one of the most urgent ones. And I think what we see is that it's not only policy, while it's certainly needed, but it's also the private sector, it's also public organizations, it's also really citizens that all need to act. And I think, you know, COP as a you know global framework, but even like the sustainable innovation and, and the forum here is definitely helpful to um, bring together all those different sectors because it is a you know it is a mission that we need to solve all of us together and it is important for us to to work and I think having a place to exchange ideas to really understand you know where each other party stands but also to kind of spark interest and inspire what solutions can look like um, is crucial for us to accelerate because we need to get this done fast.